Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve a section B question from polynomials chapter. If P and Q are zeros of the polynomial, P of y equal to 21y square minus y minus 2, then find the value of 1 minus P times 1 minus Q. So let us try to understand the question first. Here a polynomial equation is given and it's been mentioned that P and Q are the zeros of the polynomial. We have to find out the value of this expression. So let us begin by writing the general form of quadratic equation because this is a quadratic equation since the highest power of y here is 2. Now the general form is ax square plus bx plus c. Now here a represents the coefficient of x square and 21 represents the coefficient of y square. So comparing them both we can say that the value of a is 21. Similarly the coefficient of x here is b and here the coefficient is negative 1. So here we get the value of b as negative 1. Finally the constant. So the value of constant here is negative 2. So c is equal to negative 2. Now let us write down the formulas relating the zeros with the coefficients. Now in general the zeros are represented as alpha and beta. So sum of zeros is alpha plus beta is equal to. Now in terms of coefficient the sum of zeros is negative b over a. Now product of zeros is alpha times beta. And in terms of coefficients, it's going to be c over a. Now here, they have already mentioned that p and q are zeros. So here let us consider alpha as p and beta as q. So here we have written p plus q is equal to negative. Now b is negative 1. So negative of negative 1 over the value of a is 21. So simplifying this, we get p plus q is equal to minus of minus 1 is plus 1 over 21. Now here for product of zeros, we have written it as p times q is equal to the value of c is negative 2 over the value of a is 21. Now let us focus on the given expression that is 1 minus p times 1 minus q. Now here 1 minus p times 1 minus q, we have expanded the bracket that is 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times negative q is negative q, negative p times 1 is negative p. And negative p times negative q gives us positive p times q. Now in the next step we have simplified this expression. That is 1 stays the same. Now minus is taken as a common factor. So here we get q plus p plus pq. Now q plus p is same as p plus q. So here we are going to replace it by 1 over 21. And in place of pq we are going to replace its value. So we have 1 minus 1 over 21 plus pq is minus 2 over 21. Now let us simplify this. So in the next step we have written 1 minus 1 over 21. Now plus times minus gives us minus 2 over 21. Now since the denominator is 21, let us try to get the LCM. So here 1 does not have a denominator so let us take it as 1 over 1. Now we are going to multiply the numerator 1 with 21 and the denominator also by 21. So this simplifies as 21 that is 1 times 21 is 21 minus 1 minus 2 in the numerator and 21 in the denominator. Now let us simplify this 21 minus 1 is 20 and 20 minus 2 is 18. So this fraction becomes 18 over 21. Now 18 and 21 go in the table of 3 that is 3 6 times is 18 and 3 7 times is 21. So value of this expression that is 1 minus p times 1 minus q becomes 6 over 7. So we have written its value over here. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. 